Yo, in hemolytic anemia, red blood cells break. High bilirubin and high LDH and an increase in reticulocyte count. But haploglobin is the only one that is going down. In hemolytic anemia, red blood cells break. High bilirubin and high LDH and an increase in reticulocyte count. But haploglobin is the only one that is going down. Yo, the patient test positive for indirect coons. Is it cold to gluten ends or is it autoimmune? You gotta look at the history, man. You can't assume. You gotta check the blood smear under the microscope and zoom, boom. Spirocytes, schistocytes, yeah, terrific. Both of these smear findings are non specific. If it's cold to gluten, and you're gonna see EBV or mycoplasma lymphoma or even CMB to stop the red cells from blowing up like TNT. We gotta diagnose and treat the underlying disease. 40 IMGs and also the IV leagues. This ain't autoimmune if there ain't no IgGs. Similar to cryoglobinemia IgM, which means it won't work with steroids. Nope, why depend on a treatment that's not compatible like IBM? I'm your friend, the MDMC. Let's Yo, all comprehend. Hemolytic anemia, red blood cells break. High bilirubin and high LDH and an increase in reticulocyte count. But half the globin is the only one that is going down. And hemolytic anemia, red blood cells break. High bilirubin and high LDH and an increase in reticulocyte count. But half the globin is the only one that is going down. Yo, autoimmune, IgG, in the raccoons. If steroids don't work, take out the spleen and boom. Before it fills up the room. And blows up like a balloon, just like a redditory spirocytosis negative cones. MCHCA's increasing homegrown. Recurrent pigment stones is what is prone. Osmotic fragility test is next best test. Splenectomy, folate, vaccine, yes, yes, yes. If you suspect G6PD deficiency, most common trigger is infection, not fava beans. Bite cells and pilot ain't shells shows high bodies. You gotta treat that by removing the stress to see. HUSTTP, the difference B. The TTP has neurological symptoms. See, along with thrombocytopenia, fever, renal disease, the treatment for both of them is plasmapheresis. Hey. Hemolytic anemia, red blood cells break, high bilirubin and high LDH and an increase in reticulocyte count. But half the globin is the only one that is going down. And hemolytic anemia, red blood cells break, high bilirubin and high LDH and an increase in reticulocyte count. But half the globin is the only one that Yo. is going down. The characteristics of a dipstick Blood hemoglobin, myoglobin, there's no difference Intravascular, extravascular, what's the difference? Intravascular, positive dipstick, don't miss it Paroxysmal, nocturnal, hemoglobin, urea, dark urine In the morning, get an idea Let's have a pissing contest, I'm on a pier PNH and transform the AML, like classic anemia Best initials, test is now DEF A.K.A. DK accelerating factor A.K.A. complement removing factor A.K.A. CD55 and 59 is better than the hammer sugar water That's combined acidic activating complement Cascade at 9 Monoclonal antibody against C5 Is the new treatment man EQ is you man Hemolytic anemia red blood cells break High bilirubin and high LDH And an increase in reticulocyte count But half the globin is the only one that is going down And hemolytic anemia red blood cells break High bilirubin and high LDH And an increase in reticulocyte count But the globin is the only one that is going down And hemolytic anemia, red blood cells break I believe ruin and high LDH And an increase in reticulocyte count But half the globin is the only one that is going down And hemolytic anemia, red blood cells break I believe ruin and high LDH And an increase in reticulocyte count But half the globin is the only one that is going down